Hey, how's it going, you guys? So, um, the title of this video is The Weather in Ecuador, but it should probably be called The Weather in Guayaquil, Ecuador, okay? And I'll cut straight to the chase. It sucks. S-U-C-K-S. I, I don't have any anything prepared. I've got three or four little... Uh, phrases written on a post-it note and first one is summary and that is my summary it is the continuously cloudy country ccc okay continuously cloudy country i've been here for about 51 or 52 days going on two months right and it has been cloudy all but four of those days. Again, that's 45 out of 50 days. All right, and I, I mean cloudy the entire day. And on those four or five days where it wasn't cloudy, where it wasn't totally cloudy, it was usually just uh, sunny for about half of the day or three fourths of the day, somewhere around like that. And a lot of times there was some clouds coming in here or there. So it wasn't even that great. Okay, so here's another thing. I, I, I spoke with this guy over in Manta, Manta, Ecuador, Manta, Ecuador. Okay, and I asked him, he's a YouTuber, he's got like six or seven thousand followers. I said, Hey, man, I really need to know. I'm in Guayaquil. What is the weather like over there? He said, you know, it's basically a cloudy city. It's a cloudy place also. I mean, it's remarkable to me. So this brings up another point. Why is it that you can go to some of these, uh, you can go to some of these weather websites and get ostensibly, supposedly, you can get the number of sunshine hours per month. And I look at those, and what's the daily average? What's the monthly average? And it, it gives you a sense that there are seven hours of sunshine, you know, per day and etc. When really, it's not the case. I don't know how they're measuring that, um, I, I really don't because it's just not true. Uh, there isn't that much sunshine here. There's less than that. Okay. There's less than that. And I just, for a person like me that needs to have sunshine, right? It's just like, no way. <laughs> I didn't even really want to come down here. I just, because I didn't want to spend all the money to go all way down to Brazil and the long plane flights. I was only going to be here two months. I said, well, let me just check out Ecuador. All right, let me just check it out. So I, 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 and you know, what I hear from people, what I hear from people is that down there, or oh, excuse me, up there in Quito and Cuenca is even worse, okay, is even worse. Um, I, I, I'm trying not to film people, you know, I'm trying to put my camera away so I don't show, so these people don't get filmed. Right, but um, it's not working very well. I don't know. So at any rate, that's that's what I'll say about uh, that's what I can say about the weather. If you are a person, was it rainy? No, it's really not that rainy, but it stays overcast continuously, right? Um, and so I was really disappointed about that. I was really, really disappointed uh, in that aspect. So if you're a person that, and a potential expat or a current expat, where you need to be is somewhere like, and you love the sun like me, you need to be in a place like Barranquilla or Fortaleza, Brazil. Again, Fortaleza, Brazil, or Cartagena, Barranquilla, these places, the coast of Colombia. Right. You never want to be up in the hills or in a place like Ecuador. I guess what it is, is the fact that these the Andean mountain range 
tends to do something. I don't know the meteorology of it. I don't, I don't know exactly how that works, but I do know that it's a fact. Okay, have a good one, you guys.